This song is called Talking Bear Mountain Picnic Massacre Blues, and it's, uh, as I view it, a sort of analogy for consumer capitalism, or at least, um, overconsumption of resources done by people who have got no idea that other people all around, well, they have an idea, but they don't really, you know, think about it in a real realistic way. They can't, you know, because, um, we're all little individuals incapable of really perceiving the grand picture, because, you know, when I have two eyes, and uh, one brain and all that, but anyway, <laughs> um, yes, this is, I think, about people uh, over-consuming resources, uh, fuck it, I'm just going to fucking talk this song. <laughs> I saw it advertised one day that the Bear Mountain picnic was a coming my way. Come along, they said, and take a trip. We'll take you all up there on a ship. Bring your wife, bring your parents, bring the whole kids. Yippee! Well, I run right down, I bought myself a ticket to this thing they call a Bear Mountain picnic, but little did I realise I was in for a pleasant, funny surprise that had nothing to do with picnics. And I didn't even end up getting close to a bear, thank Christ. My wife and kids down to the pier, there were 6,000 other people down there. Everybody had a ticket for the trip. Oh well, I said it's a pretty big old ship, and besides, you know, the more the merrier. We all got on, and what do you think? That big old boat had started to sink as more and more people kept it piling on, and that big old ship was a slowly going down. It was a funny way to start a picnic. I soon lost track of my kids and wife, so many people there i never seen in my life. That old ship was sinking down in the water and 6,000 people there was trying to kill each other. There was dogs a barking, cats a meowing, women screaming, fists a flying, babies crying, cops a coming, me running. Yes, I think we'd just better call off this picnic. Shoved down, I got pushed around, and all I could remember hearing was this screaming sound. I don't remember one thing more. I just remember waking up there on the shore. My head was busted. My stomach was cracked. My feet were splintered. My fingers were all snapped off. Funnily enough, I was bald. I was naked too, but I was quite lucky to be alive though. Feeling like I just climbed out of my casket and grabbed back hold of my biscuit. Picnic basket, I took my wife and kids and started home wishing I'd never gotten up that morning. Let me scroll down the page here very quickly. Now I don't care just what you do, if you want to have a picnic that's up to you, but if you want to have your picnic don't let me hear it because I just lost all of my picnic spirit. You see I'll have a kitchen, have a picnic in the kitchen. If I want to go down to the beach I'll put some sand around my bathtub, have a picnic in my bathroom. Now it don't seem to me quite so funny what some people out there are willing to do for money. There's a brand new scheme or gimmick every day just to take some hapless bastard's money away. You know, I think we ought to take some of these people. Put them on a boat. Send them up to Bear Mountain for a picnic. <laughs> 